Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Lizzie. It's your girl Lizzie. So today we're doing something a little bit different. You might notice something a little bit new right around here. That is my June subscription of the Keto Crate. Today I'm gonna to show you just what is in my crate. If you wanna check that out, let's go. super excited so this is the June subscription this is actually my first subscription so I'm super excited to share this with you I have not opened it I just opened the seal a minute ago and we're gonna crack it open and see what's in it oh it's so cute so bad this is the June 2020 keto crate and this is a little bit of um information that comes into it um it talks a little bit about so there's some success stories there's members only shop tells you how you can subscribe and gives you all that fun information it's actually pretty cool cool has a lot of information We've got a success story we've even got some recipes that actually looks pretty good nice all right let's dig in all right, so first we've got flavor infused premium Virginia artisan peanuts, which looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna like crack some of these open and try them right on camera for you guys. I just wanna see what it's gonna taste like. Um, it looks pretty good so far. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'll put it in here. We've got three grams of carbs, of net carbs per one ounce. Um, and there's about 1.4 ounces, so I guess you could probably. Um, ingredients are peanuts, sea salt, apple cider vinegar, and water. Hmm, I'm interested in seeing what this tastes like, actually. Low salt, 10 grams of proteins, all natural, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no GMOs, no preservatives, no trans fats and no MSG, and it's gluten-free. Let's see what this tastes like. One little piece. Oh my goodness. This is a bit of a, oh, too much, too much. It's definitely vinegary. I'm not quite sure about that one. All right, next up, we've got protein puffs. Mm. Oh my God, terrible. That was a bad idea. It's very vinegary. If you're a vinegar person, you're totally gonna like it, but it's not my style. Oh, that's too much for me. These protein puffs brick oven pizza flavored. Um, two grams of net carbs, three grams of fat, um, 90 calories per bag the ingredients we've got cheddar cheese powder milk cultures enzymes salt tomato powder onion powder sugar garlic natural flavors spices ooh paprika citric acid and um, parsley and sunflower oil um, this is actually <laughs> really good it tastes just like pizza like if I bundled a slice of pizza into a little ball this would have to be what it tastes like really good okay if you're keeping score this is where we're at okay gorilla goods organic snacks raw shrinks organic raw vegan non-gmo gluten-free nutrition dense pumpkin seed and kale mmm you might have lost me at the kale part I don't know. Let's see. If you don't know anything about me, it'll be that I am not a pumpkin fan. I mean, uh, not pumpkin. I am not a um, kale fan. Oh, they're actually pumpkin seeds. Did I miss that part? Pumpkin seed. Ooh. Tastes. No. Uh-uh. That's not happening either. Okay. Next one. <laughs> There'll be more videos like this, I promise. But I just, I'm very honest about what I don't like and what I do like. I'm just keeping it real. All right. 
Hinka Good Foods Keto Bar White Chocolate Raspberry. Well, clearly there's nothing that sounds wrong about this, right? We've got, ooh, 210 calories per bar, 15 grams of fat. We've got six grams of dietary fiber, one gram of total sugar, and, and three grams of sugar alcohol, um, which is gives you about roughly 14 grams of carbs. That is a lot um, for one bar. I guess if you're using this as a meal replacement, that kind of works, but I don't know. That seems like a lot for me to um, consume in one on one bar like I eat less than that at breakfast and I have like eggs bacon and all that kind of fun stuff okay oh it's got that sticky texture kind of like when you chew taffy when you're like mm-hmm it's not bad but mmm I don't know maybe I don't know maybe I'd have half a bar or something I'm gonna cleanse my palate with a little bit of a pizza puff. I think it's safe to say these aren't gonna make it through the whole video. Mm -hmm. It's a safe assumption. All right, next up. Ooh, the cookie department. Cake walk, birthday walk, and sprinkles. That's so cute. All right, let's see what we got. 19 grams of fat. Mm, oh boy. Nine grams of sugar alcohol. Okay, not bad. 17 grams of total carbs minus five grams of dietary carbs and one gram of total sugar and nine grams of that's not bad that totally is doable it gives you about two grams of net carbs if you're doing net carbs um ingredients are a whole bunch of stuff you know i might be one of those people but i enjoy when my ingredients have just like my list of ingredients just have like three or four things. Whatever happens to the simplicity of just having a couple ingredients in your product? I mean, I'm just saying, you know? All right, let's see what this tastes like. Ooh, okay. It tastes like cake. It tastes like birthday cake. Mm-hmm. It's moist. <laughs> um yeah okay not bad not bad at all in case you're keeping the score this is where we're at okay next first next thing i want to go to try this this is vanilla instant pudding i was actually looking for banana pudding just the other day because i was going to make something but this will be interesting um to try I'm not a big pudding girl, but I'll definitely give it a shot. So clearly I can't try this. <laughs> All right. Next thing is the carne. I'm assuming it's supposed, that's what it's supposed to be. Beef jerky. Now I'm from Texas and I get my jerky in Waco. I can't remember the name, which is so sad. I'm going to put their information in the description box right now, but they are, um, um, I get them at the farmer's market in Waco. It is by far some of the best jerky I've ever had in my life. It's so good. And I travel an hour and a half all the way to Waco to go get them because that's how delicious they are. But I'm willing to try something new. Okay, so let's see what this is like. All right, we've got zero carbs, sugar, fibers, 2.5 grams of fat. Um, simple see what I'm saying there we go simple ingredients look at that ingredients are beef water sea salt spices and garlic now that is what I'm talking about y'all okay this is what your girl was talking about all right let's see what we got in here hmm. what is this one original it doesn't taste like anything I don't taste any spices the ones I get at Waco are super spicy. I like spicy everything. If you haven't, if this is your first video, I'm like all about the spices. Mm, but this isn't bad. Well, I can work with this. I can make this work. All right, almost done. Mmm, exciting. I've been looking for a good pancake mix, so this is exciting. This is the. Okay, give me a second while I chew my life away in jerky. Mm-hmm. Almost there. Okay. All right. 
This is Good D's uh, Still Sweet Blueberry Pancake. Low carb baking mix, sugar, no sugar alcohol. It makes 24 pancakes and it's made with coconut flour. This is a really key difference when I, I like to use coconut flour in my pancake mix. Now I do make like a homemade pancake mix and I'll probably do a video on it in um, maybe in a couple weeks or something. But I'm always looking for like a pre-prepared um, mix. So this is exciting. So blueberry mix. How do you guys know I love blueberries? Um, so I'm excited. Clearly I can't try this on, but I can't wait to check this out. Maybe I'll do a review on it in a couple of weeks. And the Zone Perfect Keto Collection. This is the white chocolate coconut flavor. Now I've had Zone Perfect before. I had it a couple of years ago. I was traveling and I needed something um, to kind of hold me off. So <laughs> I purchased one at like the local store um, in the um, airport. I think it was like LaGuardia or something. But anyway, I thought it tasted really good. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is going to taste good. I mean, it's white chocolate. It sounds delicious already. Um, total fat, we've got 17 grams, sodium, carbs, okay, 10 grams of protein. Oh, not too bad. I think for me, uh, the only thing I don't normally like with protein, I don't normally consume um, protein shakes or anything like that. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, if I'm going to go work out, I normally have Celsius, which I love, um, and but I don't normally do like protein shakes and I don't like to do like meal supplements because I like real food. I like to taste real food. So, <laughs> but I'll definitely try this out um, and give you guys a review and tell you what I think about it. The last one is, ooh, this looks delicious, Rome Sticks. This is so cute. I don't know why, but I'm loving the, I like their packaging for some reason. I'm just, I'm loving it. It's appealing to me. Singing Pastures, um, pork for the planet, made with pasture-raised heritage pork. Okay. All right. Let's, well, we're going to dig into this right now. Oh, this is good. This tastes just like bacon, which... I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to taste like. This is good. Okay. Mm. Is there some sort of a... I'm tasting something kind of... Celery-ish. That's celery. Cilantro-ish or something. Hmm. This is very good. Definitely a good one. Okay. This was a pretty good box, Keto. Keto Crate. I'm looking forward to my next crate. There are some things I can do without, but there are certain things that, like I said, probably won't make it through the whole video. These are good. I'm literally eating pizza puffs, you guys. So good. Okay. I promise this is it. This is awesome. Hashtag this is not sponsored, by the way. I purchased this crate at my own expense with my own money and subscribe with my own finances. I just couldn't wait to try it out. And I'm slightly obsessed with subscription subscription boxes. So that's how this happened. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is it. There you have it. The All of the content of my June subscription of the Keto Crate. It was awesome. Um, super excited. Had a great time trying some of these foods. Some of them, not so much but I will let you know for the ones that I wasn't able to try for you um, when I do try them I will probably do like a story on Instagram or something like that so be sure to follow me on um, social media on Instagram and Facebook so you can get a chance to see what I think of some of the other things like that blueberry pancake which I might go make right now actually hmm, maybe so um, I will put a link in the description box uh, you can currently uh, currently you can save 25 percent off your first subscription that brings your total to $29.99 and I think it's a great way to try so many um, different um, products for a small price you didn't have to go out and buy all of these individually um, and waste your money basically um, so I think it's definitely uh, worth the price um, and I'm actually really happy with my first box. I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe and remember that I have videos coming for you every Sunday. Thanks for watching.